This is the Rayburn building here at Capitol Hill, and behind me is the entrance to the House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee Hearing Room, which is where Tony Haywood is appearing. It's one of over a dozen committees here on Capitol Hill investigating the BP oil spill. People have been putting their names down to go into this hearing room since yesterday. They were here pretty much at first light. There's a massive queue of people waiting to see how this hearing unfolds today. Today is the first time BP's chief executive has actually actually fronted here at Capitol Hill and the expectation of everybody in town is that he is a marked man. I think he will probably be sliced and diced. And I, I mean, I feel sorry for him. The job is obviously bigger than him and it's not just BP. I think it's been clear from the other hearings that all of the oil companies have these impossibly dangerous policies. This is the man that said, I want my life back. That, that more than any other statement they've made has outraged people who are losing their livelihoods. They say they're going to clean up all the oily stuff, but $20 billion will not be enough. And what are you expecting to happen? Uh, I think it's an entirely predictable event. It's political theater, but it's sort of exciting to be in a front row seat. And this won't be the end of it today, far from it. It might have been Tony Hayward's first appearance. It probably won't be his last. This is going to go on for weeks. There are countless lawsuits coming. There are environmental damages coming. When these investigations are completed, there will probably be new federal regulations impacting deep water drilling in this country. And all the time this is going on, that well, that ruptured well in the Gulf of Mexico, is still spewing oil into the ocean. And that's going to continue, BP says, for at least another couple of months. This is Craig McMurtry for ABC News.